Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, let me be the first to say, welcome to the dorkness. My name is Stevie, and I have been playing so much Nightingale. Um, we did our release day stream on Tuesday, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Um, I did get a lot of people asking me, because they were having issues actually unlocking and getting the Twitch Drop cosmetics in their account. So today I wanted to just talk about exactly what you're supposed to do, how to unlock it, and actually why you want to unlock it. So before we even get into it, a lot of people that I had seen like across the internet weren't a fan of the cosmetic appearance of the Twitch Drops, but it's actually more than just a pretty purple dress. The gear that we got is a really high level for a starting character. And you can get this like immediately. So for level 58 pants is gonna take us actually quite a bit to craft if we follow the game's original path. So this is great starting gear that you can get absolutely for free. And if you can see here, you can even enchant it and upgrade it at the upgrade bench to make it even higher level. So this dress here is level 78, and I just started playing today. Um, anyways, so that's why you might want to consider unlocking the Twitch drops, even if you're not a fan of how they look. But now let's talk about exactly what you need to do to get these, uh, these cosmetic items in game. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we've gone to the Play Nightingale website and linked either our Steam or our Epic account with Play Nightingale. Uh, however you decided to purchase the game, whether that's through Steam or through the Epic Game Store using code DORKNESS to support the channel, that's the way that you want to link your account through Play Nightingale. Obviously then, step two, we need to link with our Twitch account. So you can link through Steam or Epic, link with Twitch, and then start watching streams. Once you've watched eight hours of streams, you will have unlocked the umbrella, the aristocrat outfit, the libertine's dress, and the distinguished puppy. But now what you've got to do is actually get these items to appear in game. So I've noticed that people aren't seeing any of these items show up in their inventory until they've closed their game after claiming everything and then restarted their game. So you might need to close out Nightingale. You might even need to close Steam and restart Steam and then open everything back up and you should be able to go to the system tab and then there's a rewards page that should have, if everything's linked up correctly, it should have your rewards claimable here. I didn't realize this at first, so actually someone had to show me how to unlock stuff and get it in my inventory. Um, but then once you've done that, everything should just be on your person that you are ready to equip or give to your NPC follower, whatever you want to do with it. But if you notice here, I have the hat, I have the dress, I have the pants, the gloves, the shoes, but where's the dog? The dog, you do need to do one more thing to get this cute little dapper puppy to show up on your estate. And what you need to do is build him a bed. So if we open our building menu, we'll see this distinguished puppy pet bed under the resting tab. All we need to do is place this in the world and build it. And I'm going to put it right next to my bed because I feel like that's just cute. All right, we've got some twine, some hide, and some lumber. And... You might need to like walk away from your estate for him to spawn in. I noticed he didn't like totally show up immediately. We kind of need to like walk away so that he has somewhere to spawn in at. And let's go see if he's here. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Look at that little guy. And now, oh my gosh, he's, he's laying on my bed. It's just like my dog in real life. I'm going to finish recording this video and try to go to bed, and my chihuahua is going to be exactly like this in my spot on the bed. <laughs> so now we can pet him, and he'll do a cute little dance. And if he's happy with us, he might even give us a little present. <gasps> there it is! Oh my goodness! And he'll give us, okay, I just got one common essence dust. It's not much, but hey, considering you don't really have to go anywhere to get it. <gasps> so that's it. 
I am so excited about these little pets. I hope that they continue to do cute little like free things for us to redeem like this in game um, because it, it keeps me excited about coming back. Obviously, it's still like week one, so I'm excited to be here no matter what. But I love when games give us these fun little cosmetics just to kind of keep our interest peaked. So what do you want to see in the future? Maybe if we possibly get mounts in the future, that could be something that we could receive in like a Twitch drop. What are your like wish list dream things that you think they could do for fun little cosmetics like this? I would love to hear. Let me know in the comments. And again, if you still need to unlock any of these Twitch drops, I'm going to be doing another live stream on Thursday, February 22nd, where we will be continuing our playthrough of Nightingale. I will see how things go. I'm probably going to do a couple more sites of power before Thursday, but I will definitely catch you guys up and maybe we can get to some tier two stuff on Thursday. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you were there on our release party stream on Tuesday, can I just say a huge thank you for all of the support? I really appreciate it was you guys being there. Um, it was so much fun to hang out with y'all and answer some questions about the game. If you have more questions for me, let me know because I love talking about this game and I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.